Welcome everybody, welcome to another YouTube video. My name is David, you can call me Brown, and it's really, really, really nice to have you here. Again, on this channel, normally we talk about Figma, Figma has to design, <laughs> right? Yes, yeah, basically that's it. Um, intro don't finish normally, <laughs> and config just ended. And if you're a designer and you're a Figma stand, you know what Figma config is. If you are not, most error. If you're clear, I think you correct my mistake. If you are not, you do not know what config is. Google it. <laughs> Google your <it's> code. <laughs> and I'm going to be explaining new features that came out in config and it's basically about auto layout. That's because I love auto layout. It makes my work easy. And I'm going to be creating this box. It's really responsive. You hold this tag, you shift it this way, move it this way. See how it's responsive, and I'm going to use just as you see how this overlaps into this, <laughs> and I'm going to show you guys how to do this. It's still going to be auto layout, but then we're going to do something more fun. I'm just basically going to get this guy advanced auto layout and then swap. Oh my network! Yes, yeah, so I'm going to swap it up and down. No, 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 get this guy. Yes, this is what we want. Advanced auto layout. And yeah, this good. This is it. Now you get this. <laughs> we solve it like this. Basically, that's what we're going to do. So the first thing, I do not know how many steps it's going to take us to uh, basically explain all this, but I will keep this short as possible. And really short for at the end, you see I'm as name of video in the description. But then let's get into it. I just duplicate this file. I use Control D to duplicate it. If you've never heard about auto layouts, if you've never tried it before, it's fine. I have a video and the link is in the description. You can use that to learn about auto layout, the concept, even if it's not in new Figma like design, but then you can learn the concept of what it is. I am going to be I am going to be mentioning some of those terms here as well. So just just to respond. But then I would also advise you to watch that video to understand the concept of the auto layout. I really explained it there. Cool. Let's go. So first things first, we want to have our image. Normally we have image text and all these other guys. So we are just going to move all of this from auto layout out the other, you know, just so that it doesn't yeah, you know, these guys, these guys. Auto layout, the new UI, auto layout now has this line line like this. It was there like volume, volume. <laughs> Just make sense. So I we just move this auto layout and bring it all out. So we have our image, we have our text, we have our second text. We have our third. <laughs> we don't have these guys like this, right? Uh, this is frame. Let's remove it from the frame. So you know that I say we cheat. Let's start from the beginning. Right? Everything is on its own, on its own like this. Yeah, also want to remove this guy from being a frame or group as well. Uh, it's just the normal, normal, but I said good. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to change this button because this button I did an editing on this button, it's really fun. I think that will be the next video how to make a bouncing effect on your button. The button will just do like what about that? Just do blah blah. But I would, I will not spoil it. For, let, let me show you what I'm talking about. Look at this. That's the like water water. That will be the next video. So just stay tuned or check the next video. Probably coming up next week or so. Well, now let's let's get back to it. So we want to make. Remember, the goal is to make this guy something like this, as responsive as this, right? And uh, using new Figma updates. Wow, four minutes on good. So the first thing you want to have is create the frame. Uh, normal thing. Create any random frame. The frame will not be auto layout, normal frame. Let's name this, uh, let's get in the habit of naming our layouts, right? So let's say this is with, sorry, this is um, body card. No, uh, lesson card. We are using, I forgot the name, but it's like lesson. Ah, uh, no. Lesson card. Good. And this lesson card will give you random corners of the uh, 16, just figures in my head. We call this guy and put it inside here, right? Now, nothing much is happening to this guy. Shift this point, this point is not auto layout yet. 
then this guy who wants this we want it to look this way right but normally you should not design without a reference if your mood board all those things to help you give you reference what you want from your wireframe you already have reference so you should like you, know, you want it to look like this look like this so get this guy get this guy use um control a sorry shift a yeah shift a auto layout asap now what figma did that is really nice is basically we can find this ourselves as designers as is fun is like you can use card sorting methods to do this but then that's not this you see what figma did they move the, the, the former whole content and fill container to this place and it's really fun because this is width and this is height and all of them are in the same space now you know that this height is in the same line with this like this y is basically if you move this this way wait why is thing on the pdr set like this sorry this me and my computer yeah so if i move this this way see that it's going up and down if i this also refers to the height if i try to move this see that it's height so from here to here like everything here is basically about the height which makes a lot of sense right what you want to do next from here is all container all container, not all container you want everything to be fill content because fill content expands like overing because they draw the good form as the container is it's more like you're pouring water inside a glass yes so the water is going to fill the container basically that's what it is you're turning this into liquid into the liquid form so you click on this and you select fill container right you click on this guy also we select fill container you see i think they do that is nice now you would also need context on what you are doing but then for the main purpose of this we would not not do that yet this is Let's align both of these straight. Let's make this see this is not center line. See this way this in there and this is not center line. We want them to be center line like in the middle. So what we are going to do next is come here. Now Figma changed the way this looks and I like how this looks. Now we have these three dots and you know that comes up in the middle, the big lines and set two side lines. And you if you know you would just move in at, at this side for the corner of the arch line, like bottom alignment. If you also reach here, you know that this is left alignment and this is center alignment. I like the idea of the dots, it really makes sense. So this you know, in the middle. However, this is something else, this is another fun thing. Just the watch, just the observe. Okay. Now if you if before, if we are designing and we want to like, align these guys together, right? You just select since already an auto layout, you come to the middle here, select the guy comes down, and then you put it like this and let's move to my face and i put in the middle these guys automatically align with this no cap like if you put it like this these guys align with this no cap now i want us to be very observant of this we often face this issue right whereby you see how because this and this they are different type width right they are different form width and that means you can't have them on the same line if i use this my ruler right you can see that okay this guy, this e is definitely sitting on this line, but this is not sitting on the same line, right? It is not. Um, I, I won't say much about type typography rules here, but then I'm like, it's not. It's just in the middle of this. It's in the middle of the distance of the height of this. Yes, but it's not sitting on the same line. But what Figma did with their new update, advanced auto layout, I think it boss my brain. You will select this container. Right, you go to click on this three dots here, advanced auto layout. You see advanced auto layout here, and then you go to this bottom part. Now, text based line elements. You should really pay attention to this, right? I, I get like three minutes. Let's explain this concept. Now, what this does is like it's going to help you align the text or the container. As it's in this way, this minus went like this. If you click on the minus, you see that. The container is aligned. Figma has allowed every element that's the two text, the container should be aligned with each other, right? Regardless, they should just be aligned. But if you come here and you click this dot like Nike, this one is doing like this, that's okay here. Let's click it and see. It will bring this text to a standard alignment with this text. That means they are on the same baseline. That means the baseline, all of them on the ground, the same level. Now, if you check this line, you see that they are all on the same. They are on the same level. Now, Figma has just made that easy that you have everything here on the same baseline. 
Now the text here and the text here is the same baseline. They are very just tiny pixel differences, but on a larger scale, there's a, there's a difference. It's like it's just a difference. You get as you do if you move by and you scratch it. But that's that's what Figma does helped us solve. So I'm just going to leave it this way, right? And that's how text baseline works, and that's basically what it is, and that's how it Basic, I will make a video about it, but then this is it. This is the introduction to it. Now, let's before we talk about that thing, let's get this guy out of the way. And since itself, it itself is not a few container, why is not a few container because it's not in the container, it's not the container you put inside here, it's not in the container, and this container is not auto layout. So, let's get this container, make it auto layout. Now, go back to this guy. You see through container okay that is now a container figma con figma accounts for a frame that is still contact is auto layout as a container now if the frame is not auto layout it's not yet a container so you any element you put inside you will not have to container inside now take a look at this this image now if you contain let's control z control z control z control z control z now see when this is not auto layout you see that this guy this thing you don't even get anything yet there is nothing there is no whole content, nothing. But once we make this guy auto layout, and you go back to you see that it has a few container. You click on it, it becomes a few container. You click on this guy also, I give it a few container. Good. Remember the content of this also should be a few container. Content of this also should yeah, it's a few container. That's good. That is very good. Very, very good. Now let's click this display so that the text should be alright. Uh, I made mention of context here yeah, on how you would need context to so actually use the content for the text like this. I would explain as we move forward. Just like we will have this guy here and with with that on the screen. Let's let's keep going. But almost there. Almost there. So now we have these two guys and if you look at them, this new update a little more. Now see you see how this thing works like I'm clicking on this space and I can see the design between the space. It's part of the Figma's new update. I click on it this way and I'm already seeing that this is space is 140. Then I can come here and identify the space. <coughs> give it small 24 pixels. Yeah, give it give it the breathing space. This element also carry this guy to inside this place. Let's give this guy it's a whole content already. So the problem is from this guy itself. It's still container. We do not want the height. To be full container, we want the width to be full container. That means we don't want how tall it is with full container, we just want how you know, how wide can it go, so you get how stretchy it can go <laughs> to be full container. So we change the height from here to whole content, and now it's hugging the content due to the fact that we have spaces around this container from here 16, 626. You can see that that's why this space is here between 60 here and then this 16 is here. Also, as part of Figma's new update, right, since it's auto layout of Figma's new update, we would also want to consider the patterns. These are horizontal patterns and vertical patterns. Now, with these vertical patterns, you can see with the dots inside, like the spacing, the horizontal patterns, the spacing in between. Once you click on it, you see that there's a line. Figma gives you this line that tells you this. this now, we think we edit with this. Now, this is 16. Now, for the uh, vertical pattern, oops, I need to use the language. Uh, yeah, vertical patterns. You can see the top. Let's yeah, vertical. Let's make this 16 as well. Cool. And then you can see that everything now is everything now the alright. It's now equal equal. If you also want to do fun stuff with this now, Figma allows you to add commas. So you do normally you can do arithmetic in Figma system, but then you just do 16 comma 8 comma 8, and then one side is 16, and then the other side is 8. Or you click on this arrow here and everything comes and then you can just do 16 here like this and you know same thing but there's that's cool about how they've been able to make up make updates to the horizontal padding and padding like padding inside it and the vertical padding cool and we want this to reach this end right so let's come here also do a few container now the text is few container these are our buttons you select this guy select this guy cheat a Auto layout, make both of them auto layout. Now, uh, both of them are auto layouts, you would center line it. As you center line it, this is what you will do next. After center line, you click on this part, you will go to part spacing mode. Now, before we do that, let's make sure it's, it's alright. Let's put inside this our box. 
a blizzard, arrow kit in it down. First of all, make it a few container. Go to all content here, few container to expand. You see that it does the because it's a fixed space in between. That means you have to normally you want to like hold it and then push it to the end or remove all this part or this 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 thing inside so it will reach the end, right? And that's it, but that's that's just the local way of doing it. But now let's let's do this or see the space in between here. The space in between the element, the items. You would one want to you can't the guess the space, you can't the do like the guess that's old school. So you could, right? If you are new to Figma auto layout, you, you definitely will not know that you could do this before. But if you are not you already know, but then this is the new update. That spacing mode. This spacing mode is now packed, right? So spacing mode is packed, that means everything will just be one corner. But if you want it to separate, just like the way the animation is spacing between. And to just fill the whole space, every will just occupy. Like this, you will not see any any space anymore. To just spread and then just become auto, right? And you this also full container. That's all. I think that's all. Now let's test our card. Oh, nice! I like how all the other guys are following a coin. Now we have a problem with this guy here. This is where context comes. How do you want this thing to to like reduce the size? What do you want to be over the rest? So now let's this guy. I want this guy to actually be you know, her content. However, I want this guy. Let this guy be free content. Let this guy be doing the overlapping and all those things. Right. Let's test it out again. Yeah. Cool. But then while I can't begin spacing, right? Spacing is now there. So since the spacing here is fixed, it's 53. We can make the spacing eight, or we we'll do the same thing that we did for this guy make it space in between so everything will just be occupied so if we do this yeah sorry this is also a container again good. Good, good good yeah yeah huh. yeah good oh we are good to go we are good to go there are other ways you can also do this like you know bring this guy here you want to put this guy underneath here, right? You would make sure them separate separate elements. So let's say they are good like this. You bring this guy down here, and then you put space in between and shift this guy to this point, right? And then the height of this will be whole content. But just just don't worry. The height of this will be all content. The height of the frame 93 itself now be all content. You can also see the space in between it like this. So we can Take this guy back inside here and see how it looks this way. And uh, let's expand it. And remember, remember, I also make this feel container, make it full the container, feel like liquid, like this way. And we can take this guy off here. I think it's the more suitable user experience because it's like it's just more organized in my eyes. Yeah, but then this is this is just cool. And uh, that's it. That is it for some of the new updates. I will be making a video on how to use this guy. You see how this is? Click or advance, top, it will come up. It will go down. Before, you know, they work like this. But we just thank God for this new update. This is, I just want to thank God. I just want to give testimony. Like, that's all I want to go to church and do right now. Praise the Lord, everybody. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, you know, tell me about what you like about this update and you used to explain this concept so far. And if you want to learn specific things, I will make a video for you. I'll call you and you make it for you. Send it to your YouTube page, I can your Twitter personally. So leave a comment, thank you. I want to go to church on Sunday and do testimony because praise the Lord. Just praise the Lord. Have a nice day, bye. See you guys. Yeah,